The subject of today's video is the proper technique for checking gauge repeatability. For today's demonstration, we're using a Mori Model AO28D 7mm connector gauge kit, a Mori Model 2698C2 3 quarter inch torque wrench, and a 9 16 open end wrench. Begin by removing and inspecting the connector gauge and its master for any damage or foreign material that may be present. You'll want to clean all parts before making the first connection. To do this, use isopropyl alcohol and a Q-tip swab. You want to be sure to clean all mating surfaces to remove any dust or debris that may be present. Be especially careful when cleaning the connector gauge itself as to not put too much pressure on the center plunger pin as this could cause damage. Just gently swab the face. Then using canned compressed air, remove any excess alcohol or dust or debris that may still be present. Now we're ready to make our first connection. Extend the 7mm threads from the connector gauge itself and retract them on the master gauge and make your first connection. Be sure to hold the body of the master gauge so as not to turn it and cause face-to-face -face scratching that could cause damage. Hold the body, turn only the nut. Next, use the 9 16 wrench to stabilize the connector gauge body and the 3 quarter inch torque wrench held at the torque ring for proper torque. Bend the wrench till it just starts to break away. That's the proper torque. Now on this initial connection, we're not quite zeroed. This is easily adjusted. Unlock the bezel lock. Turn the bezel till it's on zero. Relock it. Now we're zeroed and we're ready to check repeatability. Again, using the wrenches for disconnection, remove the master gauge, turning only the nut, never the body, and reconnect. Repeat this cycle several times to ensure gauge repeatability.